Hong Kong Beat。For the last ten days, Detective Inspector Wong has been trying to crack a payroll robbery. This morning at seven, the police made a major breakthrough. Acting on information, they arrested two men and brought them back to headquarters. They should have the whole gang behind bars by this time tomorrow if things go according to plan. Police are certain that the two men they've arrested are part of the armed gang that grabbed half a million. When they were arrested this morning, a gun was found in their flat. The police have got to get as much out of their prisoners as they can, as quickly as they can. For it won't be long before the word gets out that they've been picked up, and the rest of the gang aren't going to sit around waiting for a knock on the door. It would be nice to think the police were cracking this case by pure detection, but it's not quite like that. Carrots dangled in front of bounty hunters often produce the quickest results. It's true enough.、Um, you've got to imagine. Well, you've got to think about what Hong Kong's like for a start. It's not like a little village、uh, where everybody's looking out, got nothing to do but better to do but look out the window and、uh, say, "Well, I saw a nasty, suspicious man loitering outside," and phone the local police.、Uh, people are very money conscious, and they're only interested in themselves. They're working for themselves, and they've got no time to bother about what anybody else is doing. So, in The、uh, robbery last week of the fruit market.、Uh, you've got five hundred and sixty thousand dollars stolen. If we recovered it all, there is a fifty-six thousand dollar reward there.、Um, then, there are very in this particular case, the security company involved、uh, are going to be offering a reward of ten thousand、uh, dollars, and the police will probably be matching that with a similar sum. In Hong Kong, money is everything. Of the two prisoners, this man's been singled out for VIP treatment. The police hope that a soft sell approach will persuade him to become a police witness, to cough, as they say in the force. It's an unofficial game of horse trading where neither side trusts the other because guarantees are impossible. The police have got enough information to arrest the gang, but not quite enough to get the case to stick in court. 
If the prisoner well, talks, like it'll certainly help. He does. Among other things, he tells the police that Dai Pao, the gang leader, will have dinner at a friend's house today. The police now have the address. Inspector Wong's in charge of Dai Pao's arrest. He insists his squad goes into action in bulletproof vests. He knows the gang's armed. It was armed when it held up the two security men. It could end up with people getting hurt if he's not careful. There's an added sinister touch in the gang leader's name. Dai Pao can mean either big liar or big gun. Unfortunately, the detective's car won't start. It's almost farcical. A flat battery can ground a flying squad. As we near the estate where Dai Pao is supposed to be, the blue lights disappear and sirens are silenced. Wong closes in. Every exit's covered, every officer is armed. We get the signal to move in. Guns relieving himself in the lavatory, and we're relieved too. He gives himself up without a murmur, caught literally with his pants down. Watch it, this is very sleepy here. <laughs> Dai Pao's hosts are bewildered and angry. The police are everywhere, but they don't know what it's all about. The gang leader himself takes his arrest calmly. <laughs> Dai Pao has admitted he's got two homemade guns in the room he rents. A small admission, it's only a matter of time before the police would find them anyway. We set off with the arrested man to pick up the guns.
Ito ito po kasi Lipin na yung mundo Tiga ang bag 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 One of the guns is old and rusty and Inspector Wong nearly makes a fatal error. He's cocked the firing pin only to discover that there's a bullet jammed in the barrel. If he releases the pin, the gun will explode. It's really dangerous. The problem solved by putting a coin between the firing pin and the bullet. Uh, we have got uh, arrested Tai Pao. You don't know who is Tai Pao? Jiang Hong Lai. And he take us to Meifu Sanchen, yeah, where, where we found two modified pistols. Yeah, and, and also seven rounds of 0.38 uh, ammunition. And can we have the photograph people and also the fingerprint man come to this flat? Next day, everyone's feeling worn out. They've worked all night, but they're delighted with the night's work. They believe they've now got the whole gang behind bars, eight in all. Suddenly, there's trouble. It's dawned on Dai Pao that someone has informed on him. In a furious temper, he hurled a glass at a policeman. The $118,000 one where the shotgun was stolen. Uh, that's that's the group. So uh, at the moment, it doesn't look as though there's any iron crime there. The head of the bureau is delighted to report the night's work to his superior. Oh, <laughs> you name it, we we found him. This is a Beretta. And this is the star, Spanish. This is a rather an interesting one from the antique collector's point of view. It's a type of gun they used to carry in the beginning of this century as a po gentleman's pocket gun uh, for shooting the dogs that used to chase you in the street. <laughs> is it still work? Oh, it's in still perfect working condition. It's a 0.320 caliber. The standard 3.2 won't fit it. It's slightly 
out of line with the surrounding three two. Then vast quantity of ammunition. Three eight specials, which tend to suggest that there's some more guns somewhere. That's two two, two five. And spare magazines. It was quite a hefty little haul. It was undoubtedly a successful swoop. Eight men arrested for the payroll robbery, guns, ammunition, and one other major find. Well, this was seized up in June 1. This, at the moment, all I've got in there is the currency. This was $800,000 worth of forged American banknotes, uh, nearly all $100 bills. Uh, we got some $20 bills as well, but uh, they're not too bad, but they're not top grade notes either because they're a mass production note with a seizure this size. They're not, each one is not hand engraved, so they've been run off a, an offset printing press. Was this a surprise? Uh, we didn't expect this, no. This was a, a bonus, should we say. We, we, the gun, there was three guns also seized in this box when we were going for the guns. With regards to this lot, our inquiries are only just starting. I've just handed the plates up to the commercial crimes people this morning and they'll now be tracing back to see where these notes have reoccurred, uh, if at all. We've got one bloke in custody who was in possession of these. But, uh, I don't think we have in custody the bloke that made the plates for sure. What about the money stolen during the payroll robbery? Has any of that been recovered? All we've got so far at the moment is $20,000 in one bank account. Uh, we're still doing bank account raids today and for the next couple of days and checking other bank accounts. So we're still looking for money. Uh, but. Uh, we know that at least $200,000, i.e. almost half of it, was lost in Macau on the casinos. The robbers themselves are alleged to have come from mainland China. All but one came from mainland China. Uh, most of them were ex-Red Guards or involved in the uh, militia, people's militia. Today, the eight prisoners will line up in an identification parade alongside some extras from a local film studio who will stand in for a few dollars an hour. It's about the only chorus line these extras won't want to be picked out of. In a moment, the security guards will be brought in and asked to identify the men who robbed them. <laughs> Inspector Wong won't be involved in the identification parade. It'll be conducted by an independent officer who's had nothing to do with the case. Well, my name's Detective Superintendent Halliday. This is my interpreter, Mr. Lau. Now, I've been asked to do this identification parade because I am from the Criminal Intelligence Bureau, or in other words, I have no connection with the particular case. Whether or not you people were connected with these offences, frankly, I do not know. My only purpose here this morning is to make sure that this parade is conducted fairly. Right, well, first of all, does anybody object to taking part in identification parade? Yeah, 
All right, uh, prisoners, I've uh, asked eight to leave the room, so that leaves a total of 32 here. Together with you lot, that will be a total of 40 people on the parade. Okay? Can you take your hands out of your pockets? What type of guys are you? Right, the next question is, do you, any of you, apart from what you've done, you've been combing your hair and all that, do you want to change your appearance in any way? Okay, <laughs> Okay, come with the witness inspector. That is awesome. Detective Superintendent Halliday, this is my colleague, Mr. Lau. He said, good morning, good morning. He said, he is a police officer, I'm going to do a job. Oh, Mr. Halliday. Thank you for coming this morning. Thank you for coming this morning. And in fact, we've asked you to come in connection with a case of armed robbery, which took place on the 11th of July at 12.40 hours. And at that time, a number of guards from Hong Kong Security Company Limited were escorting uh, something over half a million dollars uh, in cash past the Hop Yuk Fruit Lan in Set Long Street, Yamati, when they were robbed by four men. You, I take it, were one of the guards, were you? Yes. That must have been rather frightening for you. Yes. Okay, well, perhaps you were frightened then, but there's nothing to be worried about this morning. Okay? There's a lot of policemen around. So, I emphasize, don't be worried. Alright, so we'll start up there and we'll walk down the line.
Uh, when I was robbed, there's one holding a pistol. I say, well, why have you picked out number 16? Uh, the feature of these men similar to that robber. I can't identify any other. Okay, fine. Thank you very much. Would you kindly leave by that door? Please. 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 <laughs> I said shut up and I meant it. Right, number 16. That witness said that the features of the man who was holding the gun are rather similar to you. So in other words, he did not positively identify you. I will write down the words that the witness said. Dai Pao may smile, but they'll all be prosecuted. The police are sure they've got enough to make the charges stick. The case of the payroll robbery is wrapped up. And today, Inspector Wong and family can spend a nice, quiet Sunday by the sea. tranquil area of the new territories to follow the village patrol unit as it penetrates the most remote corners acting as the eye <laughs> 